We're all agreed that the law must be obeyed. Right. There's obviously no question about that. The law must be obeyed. Can I, uh, can I ask a question? Can I ask a question? Yes, you can. Can I just ask, just, just let me just ask just a quick question. Was Michael Gove Lord Chancellor at the time when he was bre breaching the law in this way? I think that's a very risky thing for you to say. I don't Michael, know. I don't Michael know would have to answer that himself. Well, it's only a question. But, I'm only what, asking what, a question. Well, no, it's a very wasn't. carthily phrased question. Sure right. Wasn't. Question, but I, I'm very clear that on the campaign committee, I had nothing to do whatever with the administration of money in Vote Leave. But Steve, you but, did write and, this. But Steve, let me just let me just read this because viewers yeah. may not know. But in early 2016, yeah. you did send an email to parliamentary colleagues which said it is open to the Vote Leave family to create separate legal entities, each of which could spend 700 thousand pounds. Vote Leave will be able to spend as much money as is necessary to win the referendum. Is that evidence that you and Vote Leave were looking at ways of exceeding spending limits any which way you could? So the reason that I wrote that down and was felt able to send it out in an email to over 100 Conservative MPs was because at the time I sent it I believed it was lawful. Now, I am extremely angry with the person who badly advised me. They've never taken responsibility for poorly advising me to the point that I wrote that and have ended up sitting here today having to defend it. But I am absolutely clear that my conscience, my conscience is free of any blemish on this issue. And I would also point out that in any event, that was written before the regulated period, and people can make mistakes. Sure. So you admit it was a mistake. Who advised you, Steve, I'm not to gonna, do that? I think that he would be better placed to come forward himself.